drag you in real life for free. Because, bitch, my checks are hefty. Okay? My checks on this side, they real heavy, baby. And I don't play when it comes to the LGBT community. Because those are most of my fans. Okay? My best friends are gay. My little sister is gay. I don't play that shit. You are a fucking hating ass, crusty, dusty, broke, irrelevant, superfluous, dog in the face, nobody ass bitch. Let's make that very clear. And I just wanted to be known that Judy from Bad Girls Club is homophobic. And she told Sydney Starr that you are not a real woman, okay? When Sydney looks more like a woman than Judy could ever look. And that's all I'm going to say, baby, because there's, there, you know, the only thing that I'm upset about is that you would say that to a trans woman. You don't know. Me, Sydney, and I have had hour-long conversations. You don't know what Sydney has been through, what she's gone through throughout her journey to be where the fuck she's at and to feel as confident as she does in her own skin, okay? Let's talk about it since you want to post it on Twitter and you want to try to make it seem like I'm trying to bully you or something. No, bitch. I'm the bitch who bullies the bullies. You're a fucking bully and you're lucky that Sydney is not like the next transgender who would have tore your ass up from the floor up bitch because let me tell you something the next transgender would have dragged your manly looking ass okay because sydney looked more like a fucking woman than judy could ever look again stop playing with me you fucking weirdo you fucking ufo worshiping ass bitch stop playing with me i'm too bigger than you to even be addressing you right now but i'm gonna address you for sydney for every trans woman around the world who has to deal with a homophobic bitch like you who thinks that they could sit there and tell sydney that she don't belong on the show that she don't belong on there it makes no sense to me like fuck out of here bitch you're a bully you're homophobic you look like a dog in the... You look like a bulldog. Like, you really do <laughs> look like a bulldog in the face, though. Like, for real. And I heard... I heard that Natalie defended Sydney. And that's why I fuck with Natalie. Because that's real bitch shit. Period. And I heard Tanisha, too. Like, all the girls on the show who defended Sydney, I fuck with you. Thank you. I may not know y'all bitches, but I fuck with y'all. Because at the end of the day, that's wrong. And that is unacceptable. I don't give a fuck. My point is... That you do not tell a trans woman, you're not a woman. You don't deserve to be here. You don't, like, no. How about you talk positivity into her, like, wow, Sydney, God bless you. You're gorgeous. Like, no. It's giving woof, woof. It's giving me very much woof, woof. Like, your face is giving me that. And your pussy is giving me very washed up. Like, bitch, let's not forget, you were really beat up a lot of times, Okay. And I just can't get over the fact that you would really tell her that she's not a woman. That's sad. Who raised you? Who raised you to think that way? Who raised you to speak that way? You don't know what these transgender women go through to be where they at. Fuck out of here. Don't play with my bitch. And that's why I slid in your DM. And you try to come and talk about some sis. It's just entertainment. Sydney and I are friends. But then you went and posted the DM. But you didn't post what you said. Right? You didn't post what you said. Of course not. I'm not mad. I'm just upset at the fact that you are ignorant. You are ignorant, bitch. And you are clueless. You are one of those bitches who is brainless, dead ass, for you to say some shit like that to my motherfucking friend, who you don't know a motherfucking thing about, or what she's motherfucking been through. These transgender women, they go through shit that you couldn't even imagine. You would probably fucking kill yourself if you went through some shit like that. And I'm not saying, you know, whatever, because right now, suicide is at an all-time high. The two highest rates right now is suicide and pregnancy. How do you know... Her family got to see that shit. Her family got to see you trying to belittle her and defame her character and put her down for who she is, bitch. Are you intimidated or are you insecure at the fact that Sydney is living her best life? 
And Sydney, Sydney is Sydney. And that's what I love about Sydney. Because she's a sweetheart. And that's why it bothered me. And that's why I slid in your DM on some private shit. But since you want to make it public, bitch, let's make it fucking public. You're homophobic, bitch, okay? You told Sydney she's not a real woman. And that she doesn't deserve to be on the motherfucking Bad Girls Club. Well, bitch, I can say the same motherfucking thing about you. You look like a motherfucking bulldog in the face ass, manly ass, bitch. And I can say that you don't deserve to be on there, bitch. Because all you did was get drunk. And look a hot ass fucking mess. What type of representation are you? Don't get me wrong. I may be in drama a lot. And I may talk my shit. And I may, you know, get into a lot of shit sometimes. But I've really been backed off of that and focused on my music. I got all new singles dropping. I got a song out right now. You look like my dog in the video. Like, you really look like Callie. Y'all, if y'all have not seen my I Stole My Bitch video... Go check out Judy, because Judy is starring in my new video. I stole my bitch. She is the star of my new video. She looks just like my dog. Don't play with me, bitch. And I wasn't even going to say nothing, because I know, you know, I'm not trying to ruin anything or whatever for production and stuff like that. But you want to take it to the fucking internet, bitch? So let's really address what the fuck is going on. Okay? You fixed your motherfucking nasty, dirty ass mouth to spit at my fucking classy ass friend. My friend who don't look for problems with bitches because at the end of the day, she does have balls between her legs. But guess what, bitch? To me, Sydney is more of a woman than you could ever motherfucking be, bitch. And that's on Mary Had a Little Lamb, ho. Period. Don't fucking play with Sydney. Don't fucking play with Sydney. Period. Don't play with anybody in the transgender community and try to tell them that they are not a fucking woman. Okay, bitch? Because at the end of the day, I could sit there and question whether you have a dick and balls between your motherfucking legs. Because the way your bad body ass bitch built self is, I could say a lot about you. I could say a lot about you, Judy. You are a drunken fucking mess. You are a bad representation of motherfucking what a bad girl should be portrayed as. You know what a bad girl is? A bitch who's been through trials and tribulations who still bosses the fuck up. Who goes through shit every day of their motherfucking life and still wakes up and still is motivated to be the best them that they could be. Confident, all of that shit. Yes, I'm reading today. Yes, school is in session. So take notes, motherfuckers. Okay? I'm tired of this fucking double standard, double dose bullshit of y'all bitches trying to tell my friend she's not a fucking woman. Don't fucking sit here and tell my friend she ain't no fucking woman when she looked more of a woman than you could ever fucking possibly look. Bitch, you was on Bad Girl for how many motherfucking years and your body still look like a motherfucking Build-A-Bear? Bitch, you look like a motherfucking Lego. Your body look like a fucking Lego set, bitch. Stop fucking playing with me. I'm speaking on her because she told my friend some homophobic ass shit and then fixed her crusty dusty dirty ass mouth to spit on my motherfucking friend and i tried to address it privately but she went to twitter and posted the dm now here's the real motherfucking dm first of all you've been dick riding mariah lynn you've been a mariah lynn fan bitch let's sit that motherfucking straight first and foremost second of all i asked you to do me a favor and to not ever let that be the first and last time you ever fix your motherfucking mouth to spit on my friend i didn't even mention the homophobic shit because that's something that i will address when i see you face to face in person bitch okay i don't need a check to beat your motherfucking ass judy i don't let's not forget I've been on Love and Hip Hop for five motherfucking consecutive years and that's because of Mariah Lynn, not because of nobody motherfucking else, okay? Once upon a time, I will beat your motherfucking ass, bitch, and think nothing of it. Don't play with me, okay? That, you got work on your body and, bitch, no, I got work on my body and my body looks the fuck good. We're not talking about me right now. We're talking about homophobic bitches like Judy, okay? You sit there and worship aliens, bitch. You worship aliens. Like, I'm about to call for the UFO to come pick her the fuck back up because she might be a motherfucking alien herself. So, bitch, I think the motherfucking aliens came to Earth. They dropped your ass off because they didn't even want to deal with you neither. Dead the fuck up. I don't give a fuck how anybody feels about this. This is something I feel strongly about. And I hate the fact that the world is always judging the gay community. Like, I hate that shit. My little sister is gay. My best friends are gay. My Half of my fucking production team is gay. Like, my stylists are gay. Everybody around me. Like, stop playing with me. 
Like, that's crazy to me. But anyways, I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it cute because at the end of the day, you know, y'all could go tune into Zeus or whatever, wherever it's going to be airing. Um, Judy, you mention me one more motherfucking time, bitch, and I will pull the fuck up on you. Don't play with me, bitch, because I will be on the next flight to Atlanta. And I will beat your ass for free. Not for a check, bitch, because like I said, my bank account, my commas, <laughs> they consecutively come. Comma, 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 comma. Like, bitch, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Don't come for Sydney. And if you was gonna come for Sydney, you could have said, and eh, you could have said, bitch, you're a dick sucking, exposing, cum guzzling. You could have said anything else. This is my point. You could have said anything else. Why would you say some homophobic shit like you're not even a real woman? Why would you say that? Why would you fix? Why would you fix your mouth to even say that and then fix your mouth to fucking spit at her? Sydney will not put her hands on a female. I know that for a fact because we all seen on Love and Hip Hop when the Naya and Sydney thing happened. Sydney did not wasn't gonna you know put her hands on nobody, especially a female because at the end of the day Sydney knows who she is and that would be wrong. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like look. The haters in here, y'all can say what the fuck y'all want to say, but I'm going to stick up for what the fuck is right. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to speak my motherfucking mind and I'm going to say, don't ever fucking say no shit like that, bitch. And if you didn't learn, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn the motherfuck today, bitch. Don't, don't come, don't come for anybody in the LGBT community. For real. For real. And I hope Natalie drags your motherfucking ass. I hope one of them bitches in that house beat your ass. That's what I hope. That's what I hope. I really do. And I, I, I've been trying to be better and pray and, and be a little bit more godly and a little bit less aggressive. But come on. If Sydney was a woman, she would have beat your fucking ass, bitch. She would have beat your ass. But you know what? God don't like ugly. And he's not too fond of pretty neither, baby. Karma is a motherfucking bitch. And she will smack you in your face, you fucking alien UFO worshiping bitch. Stop playing with me. Don't play with me and don't come for Sydney. Not in a not in a in a in a way where you could cause somebody to really be upset the way like just don't. Just don't. Look, we're gonna end it right here. Everybody in this world knows how I feel about the LGBT community if you know me. If you know me, you know that I'm an advocate for this community. And it bothered me even more because it was Sydney. But it's bothering me even more that I'm even on this live addressing you because you felt the need to run to Twitter and post a DM. Bitch, I'm not the fucking one. I'm really not, okay? Like, hey, Jordan, don't come for Sydney. I don't give a fuck. And don't come for nobody else in the gay community because they are my family. They're, they are they are beautiful in any shape size color i don't give a fuck bitch you better go motherfucking pray to that voodoo doll that i don't fucking ever bump into your ass for real because you took this shit public but anyways i need everybody to go check out my new video i stole my bitch starring judy she's in it the dog in the face ass bitch is in it <clears throat> and i'm gonna get back to my everyday life let me get back to you know being who the fuck i am bitch this is who i am i don't like bitches like you who say homophobic shit to my motherfucking friends or to anybody period and that's how mary had a little lamb i've gotten so much better with the way I react to situations. If y'all haven't noticed, I'm not screaming. I'm not, no, none of that. It's just, bitch, come on now. I'm a cancer and I'm very emotional. And when it comes to my friends, I'm extremely territorial. So.